Hi, I'm Jim W6LG, your ham radio Elmer. Welcome to my radio room here in Rockland, California. I want to show you something you may never have seen or had discussed. And uh, I'm going to hold up a couple of different variations of vacuum relays. If I can get this camera to focus, this is a Jennings. It's pretty old. Uh, I think switching voltage on it is um, 20, 26 volts, I think. This was in a um, uh, an amplifier that I built uh, many years ago, and I've hung on to it. Uh, contacts are good for doesn't say. Um, it's designed to handle at least five kW, so uh, it's plenty big. Uh, this is a Russian relay. Now that's double pole, double throw. This is a more uh, concise. Uh, vacuum relay uh, it's single pole double throw and it's good for uh, 10 amps so if we do the math um, i squared r so p power equals i squared r so i squared is um, 10 squared is 100 times 50 ohms though so it's good for 5 kw and I wouldn't hot switch any of these. This one is about uh, two inches tall, maybe. Here's a smaller version of that same relay. Um, also uh, Russian, and it will handle, um, looks like 10 amps, but it's a little guy. So what I did in that one amp I built, uh, this was one, of, one half of the relay switching system. This handled the uh, the low power side. This handled the high power side, and it worked very well. Uh, this was in a modified Henry amplifier that I had. Um, I'm getting to the point. I promise. This is a um, uh, it's called a B1B, Bravo One Bravo, and it is a Russian relay again. Uh, as you can see, maybe not very clearly, it's a single pole, single throw. And it is, um, it says on it that it's good for 10 amps at 3000 volts. It's in Cyrillic, but easily understood. So um, this one is uh, 5kW, I squared R. Now, the ones that I used in, um, I'll get it that project box were even bigger and i used them because i had them and i needed uh, 10. Um, there's also another box that i built with the matching relays and i'm not going to hot switch them they may be able to be hot switched but i'm, I'm not going to do that now those larger relays which i'll show pictures of in just a second a few seconds um, they are good for 15 amps so I squared, what's that, 225 times 50, so um, 11,000 plus watts. Now, the only reason why I use them is I had 10 matching uh, relays, somewhat matching. And so I went ahead and built the box that's up on the wall. Now, let me show you some pictures uh, of that box. And what, what it is, is it's an antenna switch. So I have a switch box it's a, an ameritron box that was designed to switch a remote control antenna switch but that part of it failed and the guy was selling just the switch box uh, portion on ebay in fact i bought two of them they were identical uh, different sources and i don't think they were more than about 20 bucks a piece so i had to change the voltage uh, change the the uh, resistor across uh, the uh, to the leds because uh, I needed to put 26 volts, I think, into the box. So let me show you some pictures of what I built. And then uh, if you were going to build your own, I'd highly recommend this little guy. Uh, it's smaller, more easily installed, um, handles legal limit with no problem. Um, and it's about um, 30 to $40 on eBay. So if you needed a three or four position switch, you could buy some of those. Sometimes they have price breaks if you buy three or four or five. Um, put them in a box, hook up coax connectors like I'm going to show you. 
and you've got uh, a switch box that will handle a lot of power, way more power than you're ever going to put into it. So you don't have to worry about SWR or any of any of those issues. Let's take a look at some of the pictures of the thing <laughs> that I built. And like I said, it's it's up on the wall. So uh, here goes. OK, so this is the box that I used uh, to hold the uh, uh, the vacuum relays. And uh, I thought it was oversized and uh, maybe a bit too big as it turned out. It's probably not big enough. Anyway, so that's the um, the box. Those are the relays, and you can see it's marked, uh, if you can see my pointer, 15 amps at 4,000 volts. And uh, these are gigantic relays. I wanted to cut the um, uh, inductance in them, so I used a, a wide strap. I hot glued on the top where the vacuum is sucked out uh, a rubber bumper because I was afraid I'd break them. This is the uh, finished product with the five outputs and the one input. I added uh, incandescent bulbs uh, like that to light up. I dropped the voltage to them to 12 volts. Um, just indicate which relay was engaged because you can't always tell by looking. Um, the relay is tough to spot and even when you close it, it's tough to hear and figure out which one it is. So I added that so again, I've got the five light bulbs, the five positions, and uh, that's my little relay box that uh, is up on the wall. So that was my little project. Um, it turned out great. It'll be fine. Uh, the negatives are because they're single, like an off and off, off on switch, single pole, single throw. There can be some crosstalk between um, the, the relays, and I've got them tied together. They're right next to each other. I had to really push them together to get them to fix, uh, fit into the box. Um, if I were to do it again and I didn't have those relays, I would buy the small one because it can handle 5KW and it would be a lot easier to wire it. Uh, double pull, double throw relays like this Jenning are pretty expensive, like could be 150 bucks a piece. And these on and off switches, which just close the circuit, so I open up one and close another, close that one, and, uh, or rather open up that one and close yet another by rotating the, uh, the switch on the control box. It's good enough for me. And it's good enough for me to test what I, the, the, the test that I want to make where I've got uh, matching boxes inside and outside for five sets of coax. Right now, the one on the wall is um, connected to a 4B TV in the backyard my beam antenna and the dummy load, which came in handy today because I needed a dummy to do some tests. So what's the point? Well, you can build things like this. It's really a simple box on and off switches to a common uh, input um, with a remote control box. If you need something like that, uh, this is one way to do it. Buy the relays for 40 bucks a piece. Um, the, by the way, that box, which was about a foot by a foot and a half by six inches, came from Amazon, and it was $40. Um, other places have it for much more money. It was $39.99. Uh, you couldn't beat it. It's steel. It's got a, It's weatherproof, um, so it can be mounted outside. Currently, it's uh, on the wall in here, but at some point, it's going to go outside. So that was my little project. You might find it interesting. I'm not suggesting you build it the way I built it, but uh, build it with a smaller relays. Maybe you need three positions, maybe you need four, but uh, design it and build it the way that it suits you and it'll be better than anything you can buy. Uh, vacuum relays are, they're little tough little guys. They can take a lot of current. Hot switching, as I said before, no. But when it says uh, it's good for 15 amps, it's good for 15 amps or more. Uh, even at RF. All right, that's uh, one of the things I'm working on and sort of got it done. I still got to mount the uh, terminal strip in the box and some other stuff, but that's fairly minor. I'm going to double side, uh, double sided tape the uh, terminal strip into place. So oh, that's my little project for the last week or so. I'm Jim W6LG, your ham radio Elmer here on YouTube. Thanks for watching. Please do subscribe. 73.